Welcome back. President Sisi on Sunday held three-way talks in Egypt's Red Sea Resort of Sharm el-Sheikh, bringing along Jordan's King Abdullah II and Bahrain's Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa. During the talks, President Sisi said that Egypt looks forward to boosting constructive cooperation among the three sides to achieve the common interests of their peoples. He said that such cooperation boosts joint Arab action in the face of challenges and regional and international developments. For their part, the Jordanian and Bahraini monarchs said that they are, they are keen to expand cooperation with Cairo to the level of strategic partnership for the full utilization of opportunities and capabilities. They said that such relations are the backbone to keep the security and stability of the region in light of the pivotal importance of the three countries. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassam Radi said that the talks discussed brotherly ties among the three sides and bilateral cooperation paths, as well as coordination towards issues of mutual concern. The latest developments on the regional and international stages, as well as challenges to the Middle East region, also topped the agenda of the talks. Prime Minister Samir Shukri on Sunday started a visit to Luxembourg to preside over the ninth round of the Egyptian EU Partnership Council along with EU Higher Representative for Foreign Affairs Joseph Borrell. The round will witness the endorsement of a pact over priorities of cooperation between Egypt and the EU, which is described as a cooperation framework between the two sides until 2027. Shokri is to meet EU foreign ministers during his stay in Luxembourg over issues of mutual concern, on top of which climate issues ahead of the UN Climate Change Conference COP27 due in Egypt in November. Shokri is also to discuss with the President of the European Development Bank increasing the bank's investments in Egypt. Egypt. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli discussed with Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources Tariq El Mullah efforts to implement the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi over a number of files, especially projects carried out by the petroleum sector. During the meeting, Madbouli hailed efforts to hold the East Mediterranean Gas Forum, especially with regards to the energy sector under the current international circumstances. For his part, El Mullah stressed that there is a great support from the political leadership to the activities of the forum. Meanwhile, Madbouli confirmed that all the petroleum products are available in light of international price hikes for various petroleum products, particularly at the beginning of summer and the increase of consumption. A Palestinian worker was shot dead by Israeli occupation forces on Sunday 